Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And tonight's content, I need you to send to everyone that you know in the gun world, because this is so infuriating. A gun control ad about gun control and safe storage is utilizing minors to get the votes that they need, particularly in very disturbing imagery. This kind of flies in the face of all the gun control lawsuits we see around minors. Yeah, can't wait to show this one to you and hear from you in the comments on this one. It's linked. You're not going to believe this. And if you are new or you are a returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and making sure you turn that notification bell on. We need as many of you as possible to get into the fold to help expose this type of stuff and pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. And this content is brought to you tonight by LAS Concealment. Now, if you guys are in the market for a holster for your favorite freedom tool, LAS Concealment might be worth a look. They make all of their holsters out of Kydex. They are form-fitted to every single said Freedom Tool. They have multiple colors, multiple patterns. They have inside and the outside waistband options, and they've been tested by the special forces of this amazing nation. There's something for everybody, so check them out. There's a link in the description box below, and thank you so much to LAS Concealment for making this content possible. Now, my brothers and sisters, my people of the Second Amendment, you guys know that if you've watched this channel that we're under assault from many, many, many lawsuits all around the marketing of a weapons of war or assault weapons to minors. You know all about this. This is the premise of the Bushmaster case against Remington and the most recent case against Ruger, which we covered on Second Legacy and on this channel prior this week. But now, let me show you what Davy Hogg is doing. And I'm not going to show you the infuriating part until I show you why he did it. Check this out. David Hogg, attention Minnesota voters. We need your help passing safe storage laws. Please call the numbers below and ask they vote yes on safe gun storage. So he's advocating for gun storage. This is an advocating tweet. He retweeted a gun control piece from Minnesota, a gun control movement piece. Now, take a look. This is disgusting. This is the very thing that they are saying the gun manufacturers are guilty of. That's what they're suing them for in, in court in Connecticut. They did it in, yeah, actually both times in Connecticut. And now they're continuing to try to do this to get rid of the PLCAA. All the while, they're putting out gun control ads like this one, trying to get safe storage laws, utilizing minors in unsafe environments and unsafe situations which I've never, ever seen on the gun right side of the argument. Every single time I've seen anyone remotely close to this age, there has been a parent directly or guardian directly near them. There have been safety instructors around them, and those around them are also providing support and safety because this is a blessing. This is a cultural icon. This is a cultural passing on of, of, of um, traditions. But no, no, no. It's terrible and you're going to get sued if you're on the gun manufacturer side. But if you're on the gun control side, this is fair game. It's perfectly legal. I've left it up here for a reason. If you're a Republican or you're defending any type of these litigations, here's a really great example that Davey Hogg just gave you and bashed the door open for you. Please take an advantage. Just linked in the link below. But if you do not believe me, here's what we were talking about prior this week. Son of Colorado mass situation victim sues gunmaker Ruger. Well, why did he sue Ruger? Again, keep in mind the image I just showed you. The son of one of 10 people killed at Colorado supermarket in 2021 is suing gunmaker Ruger over how it marketed the firearm used in the massacre following the litigation roadmap set by the families of Sandy Hook. Okay, let me show you what they actually said. This is the lawyer, this is the whole point. Quote, we believe they marketed it in a way that was meant to appeal to the militarization of young individuals, glorified lone shooters, and especially in the wake of Sandy Hook shooting, we think they had the moral responsibility to do better. What do you think about this little ad? You think you had a moral responsibility not to do maybe this with a child? This is the exact type of thing that they rail against the gun industry. They are guilty of doing this. It's all marketing. It's all marketing tactics against the youth. Meanwhile, in Minnesota, you've got gun safety storage laws. Get a picture of a kid with a Glock out there. This is disgusting. This is wrong. And they need to be held to account for their blatant hypocrisy. And listen to what the whole premise of going against Ruger was. This was the marketing of what they are referencing. These words. The lawsuit against Sturm, Ruger & Co. claims the company's marketing materials included similar phrases such as, quote, 
anything else would be un-American. So the phrase anything else would be un-American is clearly manipulative marketing from a corporation to affect a minor. But the image of a minor holding a Glock in order to manipulate voters to call senators to get gun control, that's perfectly fine. You can see why this would irritate me a little bit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.